Hello, my brothers and sisters, and welcome back to another Brackshire Pat episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends. And as you can see, we're back from Cumbria. It was planned to be a three. <laughs> a three day stay, but because of the weather, as you can see on the vlogs, it tipped it down. We were there for two and a half days. And it tipped it down the entire time we were there. And obviously because it's Cumbria, lots of lakes, lots of rivers, uh, Cumbria, you'll see the scene on the news, Cumbria, Cockermouth, is absolutely underwater nearly. And it's, it's been, we had to come back because the road we travelled back on to get to more was the A66. And there's quite a few rivers on there. And uh, I, Lou got a picture, but because we're driving, it's blurry. It's like, no. And you can't see it probably, there's no point me showing you. Just go on the Google and search Cumbria rain or floods and it'll be there. Uh, literally, the the river we went past, it was literally about a foot from coming over the bank on our side, over the road. It's probably shut now, I don't know. So we cut it a day short, so we'll make sure we can get home. Uh, but yeah, so I'm back home and it's coming up to Halloween, isn't it? Halloween! I don't celebrate Halloween. I don't, I don't really care for Halloween. I don't care for bonfire night. It just means getting dressed up in silly clothes, going out in the freezing cold, and obviously right now in the fucking rain, getting piss wet through, catching a cold, just to get some sweets, or just sat there, stood there looking at a fucking bonfire. But it is my duty to actually do something Halloween-ish on here, especially if it comes up to Halloween, because it'd be rude not to. Even if it means I get to do one of these. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Chris the Butcher's Super Cool Review. Yep, there, you can guess I've been in Morrison's, can't you? I've got a few things from Morrison's, so it might be a bit of a theme coming on with Morrison's. More reasons, more reasons, more reasons, more reasons to shop on more reasons. Oh, no, it's not. Not sponsored. So we've got... <laughs> got to be careful because it's fresh. We've got the Morrison Spicy Fright Feast Pizza. Fried with tomato sauce, chilli cheese, jalapeno pepperoni, spicy chicken and hot chillies. Do you, know, do you mind, Connor? Out to the studio. You've had your Rice Krispies. They bugger off. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, Morrison's on the Market Street 14 inch spicy fried feast pizza and it cost me £3.89. And it says Halloween, so I'm doing it for Halloween. I don't think Connors will eat it. Kieran definitely won't. Uh, Lou definitely won't. Uh, eat if you dare, scarily hot. Yeah, pizza from Morrison's. Ooh, scarily. It's a bit of a play on the, the ice one thing there, right? Uh, I've got to be careful here. I can't see it, my eyes are shocking. I can make fucking levels of it bigger, please, Morrison. Some people that blind as a fucking back and see it. But, you see what I did there? Yeah? Uh, wheat, milk, rye, meek, 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 milk, wheat. I made up my own word there, didn't I? Yeah, used by the 30th of October, so you've got, you've got to eat this before actually Halloween. What day is it today? It is the 29th. I've got some tomorrow. tomorrow. Cheeky bastards. Right, anyway, let's get down here and have a shufties at it. Trust the old pizza tin tray, should we say? Pizza tray, I've got to be careful. The, the, the pizza is bigger than the tray. But it looks good. I'll tell you what, even before I cut it, it smells good. It smells, you smell that spicy tomato. Uh, I did also forget to tell you that it cooks at 180 degrees fan assisted oven for uh, 8 to 10 minutes. I definitely will be leaving it the 10 minutes. I will be checking it as well because I want to make sure it's cooked all the way around. I don't want it burning on the edges. I might even go in halfway around and spin it like it's on the waltzers or something, you know what I mean? So yeah, 10 minutes. I'll be back. Well, my brothers and sisters, it's out of the oven. It's not in front of the cam yet because I can't pick it up. <laughs> Got a bit trusty yellow rag. See if we can 
There we go. Oh. Try if you dare. Spicy Halloween pizza from. Uh, I know it said McDonald's then, but it's, uh, it's quite clearly not McDonald's, it's uh, Morrison's. And I've got my trusty pizza fill. Let's just give it a, a quick run through. Obviously this is going to feed quite a number of people, this, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not just for one person, it's for a family of people. That, the board's not big enough obviously. But the, my problem is, I don't know if anyone's going to eat it. I hope it's going to be too spicy for them or what. But, uh, give it a couple of minutes to cool down and we'll get up here and find out, won't we? Well, there it is, brothers and sisters. I'm struggling to hold it up to the camera and do it justice, I'll be honest. Uh, I've, only left, I've left it a couple of minutes. Uh, because I'll be honest, I'm starving. I want to get down my gizzard. Right, let's see just how hot, or if I dare. God, of course I dare, don't I? I mean, it's hot, it's just come out of the oven. Oh, that is nice. Got a nifty kick as well to it back up through all. If you see on there as well, there's little, little the lumps of jalapeno. Shut this one Right. I hope no one else likes this because I'm going to eat the lot. Oh, hot. Big lumps of chicken, jalapeno, just got a kick in that sauce. The cheese is there. I like folding pizzas up like a piece of bread, you know what I mean? Mmm. <clears throat> you know what, boys? It's not a bit of a tasty pizza now. That is a really good tasty pizza. And if you do like a bit of spice, but not too much, not too, you know, not massive hit, like smack, being smacked in the face with a red hot iron. You know what, this is perfect, because it has got a kick, it has got some spice, but it's not over the top. It, it, you can still taste it, and it's enjoyable. You just get that little tight, you get that enjoyable burn, and it's just kind of a tinkle. But adds to the flavour, the way. Yeah. I think it was £3.39. I never mentioned it, there. I thought, fucking packaging there, I know. No, no one else in this house is going to eat that. If I put too much pepper on something. Hey, say what? That's fucking ground black pepper. Do you know what I mean? Mmm. The edge of that base is crispy as well. I did turn it about, I turned it about three or four times in the oven while we're in there. So, brothers and sisters, the spicy fried feast pizza from Morrison's, which I think was £3.39, bang on. Absolutely bang on taste. Big lumps of chicken, jalapenos, the spicy tomato sauce, the cheese. Somewhat stuck at the top of my fucking shoe. Fuck off. I don't know what it is, it could be anything. <laughs> uh, the, the spice, it wasn't spicy. Well, it was if you don't like spice. To someone who doesn't like spice at all, and even chicken corner breaks my fucking sweat. They, they'll find the spice in it. And it's just a bit on my lips, down my throat. That is it. Tiny, tiny bit. Very minimum. But uh, all in all, I fucking like that pizza because it's very tasty. If you like this, press like, comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. I'll become a family member of hashtag tube soup tube. Bang! I had to look at it then, I forgot what t shirt I'm wearing. <coughs> Where am I up to? Hashtag tube soup tube. Bang! You did it twice, huh? Well, I fucking love you.